Hi, Mel here from Wakeman Nutrition. What do you do when a doctor or a healthcare professional or a loving friend or family member says to you, you should lose weight? It's not good for you being fat or being that size. And what if you really struggle with that idea because maybe you don't want to lose weight? Or maybe you tried and tried and you've struggled and you hate the idea of it because you know it doesn't work, but what's the alternative? Now, from my perspective, I see repeated messaging all the time, which isn't evidence-based, but these messages that tell us that fatness is associated with a shorter lifespan, that fat is associated with disease, that, that BMI is an accurate measure or indicator of health, that exercise and dietary restriction in terms of just move more and eat less is an effective weight loss technique and the NHS to con continue to promote that. That our health is largely determined by our health behaviours. Now, none of that is really true, to be honest. It's not supported by strong evidence whatsoever. And our health is way much more complicated in terms of, gosh, our genetics and our behaviours, sure, which are determined by our genes and our hormones. It's never that easy. And I would not recommend somebody just loses weight for the purpose of losing weight. Now, it might be interesting for you to hear that weight stigma has a greater or stronger association with increased mortality than obesity does. And what that means is that if we judge people and assume people for their size and their weight, that has a much greater negative impact on their health than it does for them simply being overweight. So what happens when people are stigmatised and judged for their weight is that they have increased stress levels because they feel very, very self-conscious. They may be treated differently, that they may not have equal access to services or are unable to do the same things that thinner people are able to do because society is not designed for a wide range of body shapes and sizes. We know that people who are overweight or fatter, shall I say, have an increased risk for mood disorders and anxiety disorders because of that fact, because they experience more discrimination. And because of that discrimination, they're less likely to want to exercise, that they're more likely to, I guess, resort to emotional eating and make poorer food choices. So if your doctor tells you you should lose weight, sometimes they need to be reminded to look beyond size and weight and look at the individual person, support them with their condition. And you know what? Their symptoms and problems may not be purely related to their weight, which is often a big assumption. So if you're struggling with that, I'd love to hear from you. But I'd really like to reassure you that if you're constantly told you should be losing weight, do you know what? That might not be the solution for you. OK, so I'll leave that as food for thought. Thanks very much. See you next time.